G'day YouTubers and welcome back to an advanced three loop startup tutorial here in Nucleari's once again so much fun so far let's get this on the road as I want to get this going as fast as possible to show you all the reasons why you would and would not have this going and when you'd actually want to get it going itself so I'm going to turn everything on as I need let's get this on to 50 and I'm going to crank this down to 35 35 and I'll just crank this one down to about 45 so I've got loop 3 running 10% higher than the other two loops for the fact that it runs so closely connected to the condenser itself and thusly runs higher and colder than the other two loops itself this save is exactly right after my complete shutdown tutorial so all I've done off camera is I've just gone ahead and refilled that outer core vessel and just gone ahead and turned my batteries onto, onto automatic for the fact that I don't have that objective anymore. The money you see in the top left, I have changed the XML, but everything you see I've got so far installed and upgraded has been from the actual earned money, and I've just done that XML recently just so I can do an advanced tutorial in the future once everything's upgraded. So let's get all that on. All these loops are going. I'm going to get this feed water circuit going because I need to top this inner core vessel up just a smidge. It may make one of the pumps run dry for a short period of time, but we'll try and keep an eye on that one. Our pressurizer is coming up. The level isn't that great, but once it gets up there, it'll start getting back into the green range. That's fantastic. Come on over here. Let's boot this into nominal and pop that into the core and shut that panel down because I don't need it. Let's go over to our synchronizer, open our breaker up so we can't output power, turn on both of my resistor banks so we're only limited by 10,000 kilowatts while powering up before outputting to the grid or they'll blow up. So that's going to be quite difficult and I hope you have more resistors by this time on like day five or six that I'm on currently. Let's go ahead and get this one on ASAP. No upgrades has really been done specifically for the fact that I wanted to do that in a different kind of tutorial video. So we'll come over here. Our pressure is perfectly fine. Let's get this up there right now. This one will come up eventually. And once it starts going back up and gets close to about 11,900, then I'll turn that feed water circuit off. But I'll just keep an eye on the pressure. I'll turn this off when it gets to about 175, 180-ish. And then we can keep going on down the line and get this up and running ASAP. Because always this pressurizer is the one thing that takes the longest. There's 170, 75, there we go, 175. Pressurizer is done, at least for now. This should be rising up. Good, good, good. I'm gonna turn that feed water circuit off now, just before it gets up to it because it's going to make one or two of the pumps run dry for a short period of time, but it will go away after a second. So try and get an eye on that one. All of our values are starting to come up in temperature. That's good, good, good. And obviously this one's starting to come up a little bit more than I want. Yeah, an extra 10 above, that should be okay for now. It'll start cooling down a bit. That overpressurized pipe you hear in the background, and there it is, dry circulation pump. It's just because this feed water circuit one is still powering down, so it should go away, and there it goes, no problem. Bye-bye alarm, no props. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's quickly request to output to the grid. That's much later than I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to put out to power at 11, so this could be a little different, and I might have to speed up a little bit of time to get there a little faster for you, so I'm gonna do that now. And let's make it a little bit more difficult for myself so you know what you need to do. So it's in two times right now. Let's get going, shall we? What have we got? 159, 169, 1, 2, 3. Let's get these going. That's dropping. Yes, I know. We are off the electrical grid. Thank you so much. And thank you for slowing down the time. All right, 12 o'clock is when we got it. So we're now starting to produce power. I'm going to crank this up to about 30%-ish. Hopefully that should drop it down a little bit and I'll keep an eye on it. 53, 49, it's starting to come up. 40, let's bump this up to 45 and I'll need to drop this down probably to about 35-ish, yeah. 75, 86, that'll come down eventually. 
power's dropping a little bit. Let's just finagle that a little bit because I want the power to increase ever so slightly as long as it stays below 10,000 and then we should be good. Still in 2x. I'm going to get this into 94. Let's give that one a go. What's that like? Yeah, I'm happy. 280 degrees, 11 foot 11, yeah. Ladies 11, lady legs 11. 15, 30. Coming on down. Not really. Let's just crank it up to 35 and see if we can bring it down just that little bit faster. No. Nope. What about 40? 40. 40. Okay, cool. So let's just drop that down. To, yeah, 37 seems pretty good. What are we going over here? 401. We've got 45. So let's go up to 50 on the 1, on the 2. And the 3 should be okay for a little bit. No, it's dropping a bit too much. Let's bring that up to 40. There we go. 37, 36. Let's just drop that to 35 on the turbine bypass. It's raising back up a little bit too much now. Let's just crank that to 40 as we've got quite a bit of playroom on it and we're nearly at it already. How's the condenser going? Going good. Pressurizer could use a little loving. Just keep it on high and get this done really quick. There we go, just get that out of the way nice and quick. We're almost there. We're still rising just a little bit faster, that's good. We're almost there, that's good. Yes, thank you for automatically slowing down that time for me. That is awesome. Thanks game, appreciate that. Almost there, we're just kind of waiting for it to come all the way around. I could speed it up, but we're just trying to get it nice and slow. Because otherwise it'll make it go out of whack or something like that. It could be... Oh, I missed it. No, go back. Go back. And lock in there, please. Thank you very much. Wait for a second. And close that breaker. Awesome source. Let's just go ahead. Quickly check. We're producing 20% speed on our generator. So I think we've got quite a bit of playroom. Make sure you don't go over 100% here or it'll start making this go out of whack and you'll damage all your turbines and all that sorts of stuff. So they're demanding just around about even 20,000 kilowatts and we're only producing about 7,000 at the moment. So I reckon I've got a lot more playroom than that. So I'm going to crank that all the way down. Temperature's still coming up ever so slightly. That's perfect. Let's run back over here and let's start managing this to produce more power if need be. So I want those numbers to be a little bit higher. So let's just increase that by about two or so. What's this at? 62, 60. That's where the number I want it to be at. I want it to be about 3,000. And these are nowhere near close, but I don't want to raise it too much or it may overwhelm them so they can't produce the, sp the steam fast enough. So here we go. Raising up the uh, kilowatts. Bring it on up, bring it on up. We were nowhere near blowing our resistor banks, which was also absolutely fantastic. Pressure's fine. Internal temperature on the core. Everything should be good. We've got AO uh, sitting right there. I want you to have overpowered on. Yes, please. And turn on. Do that one. Thank you very much. I'm going to start with the analysis. Of yeah, the with the over skin, overpowered skin. 74, 76, they're going up nicely. That's good. What are we producing? 23,000. So we've got an excess of 2,800 roughly. I'm going to go ahead and crank my generator down to automatic. There we go. Nice and easy. So now we're not wasting fuel because we're producing our own power nice and stably to the grid. And it's not even anywhere near the actual one o'clock or an hour after the time they give you for when they actually care about this service compliance estimate. So between the hours of 12 and 1, obviously right now, they don't care about this. Once that starting is gone, then they do. Nice and easy. 161, the pressure's still good. These can still be raised a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to crank it up to 55. Let's go there. We're not really bypassing any steam, so now this will be a lot more effective at cooling. I'm just going to pop that into, say, 50 and let that temperature raise a bit more 
just so these don't have to work so much harder with colder water. There we go. That's just about everything. Our, that will lower a little bit just because we're increased this. Once it all stabilizes out, it'll start raising back up again. But that's just about everything. Thanks once again, everyone, for chilling out and watching as always. Stay sharp as always. Till next time. See ya.